Hello everyone. Welcome to Mechanical Software Education channel. In this video you are going to learn about the stress analysis of simply supported beam with UDL, point load and inclined load by using ANSYS. Look at this drawing. A beam is placed over by two supports. One is fixed here and the last one is at the end. It should be of roller support. So make sure this point is taken as A and uh, depends on the load you can divide the entire beam here it should be taken as B and the UDL should be started from C and uh, here you have a point load and it is taken as D and the last point is taken as E. So the distance between A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E it is almost equal of uh, 2 meter, 2 meter, 2 meter and 2 meter so the entire length of the beam is 8 meter so here all the dimensions are in meter and the cross section for this beam is circular cross section it is a hollow one so the radius of inner diameter or uh, sorry here the radius is given for inner and uh, outer radius is also given in meters so outer radius is 0 0.350 meter and the inner radius is 0 0.250 meter and here three types of loads are acting here you can check one is UDL another one is point load and another one is also point load but it is an inclined position so here the uh, angle which is given in the form of 30 degree and now how to find the included angle here for inclined your uh, point load so this is very very important so now you can check draw a line here of a 90 degree so this is a 90 degree line and now uh, you need to find this included angle so in ANSYS you are going to uh, rotate your node for some angle so this is so much important so to find this value so 90 minus 30 which is equal to 60 here so this is the easiest way to find this parameters uh, to rotate the node in 60 degree to get your 30 degree value ok now uh, the sign conversion is also important for the left hand side to right hand side of uh, inclined load the sign should be positive and if you are giving load in this way from right hand side to uh, left hand side it should be negative so in ANSYS you are going to rotate your nodes in this sign positive and negative here and the extra parameters for uh, the input data that is E value and Poisson's ratio so all the data are in meters okay with the help of these parameters we can draw the simply supported beam with point load UDL and inclined load with the help of ANSYS. Let me move on to ANSYS. Let me start from preferences. So we can start with the structural, go to preprocessor, element type, add your element. So here I'm going to choose beam element, 3 node 189. And here the material properties we are going to give structural, linear, elastic, and isotropic. Here they are going to give the Young's modulus value and Poisson's ratio value. So Young's modulus value should be in the meters 2E9. You need to give 2E9 and your Poisson's ratio is 0 0.33. Okay, give okay and uh, cancel here. And now go to section, it is a beam, so give common section. And here we are going to give a circular cross section. So here you have a two circular cross section. One is uh, simply it is a outer radius, and uh, in in this problem, in our problem, we we are going to give the hollow size that is inner radius and also the outer radius. So the inner radius value is 0 0.250, and the outer radius is 0 0.350. So you can check with your drawing here. So the inner radius is uh, 0 0.250 and the outer radius is 
0 0.350 okay so the extra part is n so what is n here means it is the number of elements in angular direction actually n stands for number of elements in angular directions so it should be in a circular cross section so uh, the angle it should be 0 degree to 360 degree you can give uh, your divisions from 0 degree to 360 degree so here I am going to give a simple uh, value as 10 divisions so you can go to this preview tab you can check your cross section that is inner radius and also the outer radius of your circular uh, beam and now check with this mesh view if you give mesh, mesh view means your number of uh, n that is n elements is divided into 10 if I am going to give as 100 means you can again check with your mesh, mesh view it is in the angular direction I just divided the entire uh, circular uh, region into 100 equal divisions so here I am going to give only 10 so for easier uh, viewing it should be uh, taken as 10 so if you want to get uh, better results you can go to 100 or even 200 that is your choice okay so now give ok here and now check your modeling so you are going to create your drawing so go to key points in active coordinate system start with the first one so it is in a meter so give 0 comma 0 is the first uh, key point it is starts from the origin the second distance is or second key point should be 2 meters and third key point should be again 2 that is 2 plus 2 it is 4 and the fourth key point is again plus 2 it is 6 meter and the total length of the beam is 8 meters okay so one division 2 3 and 4 and now you are going to join the key points with the straight lines give ok and after completing this you need to mesh your line that is go to manual size and this is a line so pick all the line and I'm going to give only 10 here so if you want to get a better result you can increase the number of divisions okay so give ok so the entire line is divided into 10 uh, each and every line is divided into 10 equal divisions and go to mesh here go to line and pick all the entire line was meshed and uh, uh, now you just go to plot go to line here now you can check your lines and also give numbers here for your key point numberings and now you must rotate the uh, second node this is very very important so before applying uh, the boundary conditions you are going to rotate this load because your second uh, second parameter that is a uh, second key point shows that it is an inclined load so you are going to rotate with the help of uh, 60 degree and the sign should be positive so go to modeling and uh, create and uh, on this create you can go to node and uh, on that node you can go to uh, rotate node coordinate system rotate node coordinate system by angles we are going to rotate this node by angles so select this point this is the second node give ok so now the node to be rotated is 2 this is second node that is a key point is 2 that is the node is also created as 2 and here we are going to rotate uh, the degree as 60 in z direction okay now give ok go to solution define loads now apply your loads structural displacement on key points select the first key point and uh, this is a simply supported beam so you just arrest all these things except your rotation set because the beam should be tends to rotate in z direction so here the next component is the right side right side load you are going to give uh, ui that is in a roller support you are going to arrest ui directions because the load or the beam should be moved in x direction okay now you are going to give uh, loads starting with the first one that is 
uh, force or moment on on nodes because we are uh, we just rotated the node the second node okay go to okay give uh, give y direction so the values 6 kN so the value is 6 kN so give minus 6000 give apply you can see here the inclined load is acting in the second uh, uh, key point or the second node it should be in a 30th degree it should be in a 30th degree but we are giving the included angle as 60 degree so it is based on it is based on the 90th degree it is the common one so with the help of this 90th degree and uh, we can easily calculate the included load 90 minus 30 which is equal to 60 okay now give a point load in the fourth uh, key point give okay and the load the point load is 3 kN so give minus 3000 because it is acted in the downward direction and now you are going to apply pressure on beams to give your UDL so give or select the box type and you can easily select the entire region so key point number 3 to 5 so uh, the load key should be 2 it should be of downward direction load and uh, the value is 1 kilo newton meter so give 1000 and give ok so now your yeah, UDL and point load is created and also here the inclined load was created now you can solve this problem with the help of solve current load step give ok wait a moment and uh, the solution is done now check your results with the help of uh, general post processor uh, go to plot results and you can check your deformed shape first and uh, this is your deformed shape and now go to counter plot nodal solution and degree uh, degrees of freedom solution start with the displacement vector sum so this is the maximum value it should be attained on the center region so go to uh, oblique view you can check with your style uh, size and shape you can on this display of element so your entire cross section was visible here okay it is in a circular cross section circular hollow this one this is a hollow one so now check with your uh, bending moment drawing and also the shear force drawing with the help of element table so define table go to sequence number miscellaneous number is 3 and 6 give okay, apply sequence number is 16 give okay, apply and 19 so give okay, close now check your results with the counter plot line element results and the sequence for 3 is to 16 it should be bending moment you can check with front view okay so now you can go for the next combination that is 6 cross 19 you can check your shear force 6 cross 19 is the sequence for shear force so now check your uh, point of contrafracture in this region so uh, this is the uh, final stage that is uh, shear force drawing and bending moment drawing for this simply supported beam with the UDL point load and their inclined load if you want to check uh, more results you can go for a stress value here and uh, one mesh stress you can check your results for one mesh stress and the maximum stress should be attained on the uh, UDL region okay so if you want to check your animation view okay this is the animation for uh, displacement and if you want to check your animation for stress same one mesh stress so this is the animation for stress and uh, one mishes.
the exact uh, animation for one mesh stress and if you want to uh, take printouts or uh, saving your files in the bitmap you can uh, reverse your video from black to white and uh, capture your image and you can save your image from your window to bitmap file okay so hope you can understand guys if you have any doubt uh, regarding this uh, uh, incline load related uh, uh, doubts you can uh, clarify your doubts or you can ask your doubts in uh, comment box hope you can understand all these things if you really like this video you can press like and uh, comment and uh, subscribe my channel thank you very much thank you